All right, everybody, what is up is Thunder. Welcome back. Damn, what a weekend it was. How about that game last night? The Patriots and the Steelers. Woohoo! Steelers got their asses whipped. Damn, Antonio Brown. Was that you? Was that Antonio Brown that got held to 77 yards receiving? Bring on Julio Jones, baby. Bring on Julio. Anyway, fellas, oh, I'm going to talk about some shit that went down over the weekend, man. Yo, I got to ask you guys a question. When did Madonna join ISIS? I didn't know she joined ISIS. Damn, Madonna. What the hell is going on, you crazy old ass? Was that really Madonna that was threatening to blow up the White House? Did I see it at that woman's rights rally over there? Was that, was that really her? Oh, my God, fellas. What is going on? <laughs> Madonna, man, you got to stop. Listen, I know you people at the women's rights rally, you're all about love, acceptance, and peace. But you got to stop the blowing up the White House talk. I mean, you got to stop cheering for Madonna to blow up the White House. Yeah, I mean, all about love, peace, tolerance, and acceptance, unless you get your way, right? That's, that's what the slogan should be. Now listen, I don't know why you people are so pissed. I mean, Trump just got in the White House, and he's already doing you people a great service. He's got you guys all out there walking. Because about 80% of the people I've seen out there walking, marching against Trump, Look like they can stand to lose about 40 or 50 pounds. So he's already doing you guys a great service. He's got you out exercising, out walking. Trump's already hooking you guys up. Oh, my goodness. I just got quick scope, man. <laughs> Look at this shit. Oh, get on, baby. Listen, man, if you're a famous person, please stop speaking publicly about how you want to blow up the White House. It's just not going to end well for you. Last time I checked, dude, that's, a, that's an act of terrorism. A, th a terrorist threat. Talking about blowing up the White House. You're inciting violence against the president of the United States. You're inciting violence against the White House, the House of the People. And these people at the women's rally, man, Madonna's talking about, I hate Trump. I can't tell you how many times I thought about blowing up the White House. And there's people cheering for her after she said that. What? Uh, what country? Is this America? Is this the America is cheering some celebrity, some washed up has-been celebrity talking about blowing up the White House? Dude, embarrassing, man. There's so so much embarrassing shit going on in this country right now. I mean, it's it's scary. And look, I'm cool with Madonna's right to protest. All these people out here marching. I'm cool with their right to protest. It isn't going to do shit. But if that's the way you want to spend your day, that's fine. This is America. You have the freedom to do that in this country. And I know we have freedom of speech, right? I know a lot of people have been trying to blanket Madonna, protect Madonna by saying we got freedom of speech in this country. Yeah, we got freedom of speech, but... I mean, damn, dude, the second you start talking about wanting to blow up the White House, I mean, I don't know, man. Sometimes people take freedom of speech just a little too far and say some really dumb shit. And I know that the Secret Service is investigating this crazy old broad, and hopefully some charges come down on Listen, man, when you have a platform and you're speaking in front of millions of people, you can't go out there and say, I'm thinking, of, I, I fantasize about blowing up the White House. You can't do it. Not in America, man. I mean, God, what the hell is wrong with you? Someone, listen, that crazy old lady, send her ass back to the nursing home. Do not give her a mic anymore. She's done. First of all, Madonna, what are you even doing out here? Isn't Madonna worth like a billion dollars by now? Yo, if I was, if I had Madonna's money, no one would ever hear or see from me again. I would be gone. I would go live on a private island someplace. I'd get a facelift. I'd change my name. I'd be able to walk the streets peacefully without having 100 uh, paparazzi Losers jump in my face, take pictures of me nonstop. That shit is annoying as fuck. Being famous sucks. If I had Madonna's money, no one would ever hear from me again, dude. I would be gone. What, what, what the hell is her ass out here doing talking about her ISIS shit? Talking about blowing up the White House. Madonna, retire. Go back. Go buy some luxury deluxe nursing home and go live there. Go hire a whole bunch of servants and shit. And just don't leave the nursing home, Grandma. Stay in the nursing home. Hey, listen, I'm not a lawyer, but I know I have a shitload of people that watch me. Are any of you guys lawyers? Is, is it legal? Isn't it illegal to be speaking in front of hundreds of thousands, millions of people talking about how you want to blow up the White House? Is there some kind of law against that? I don't know, man. But I can't believe Secret Service didn't, like, just arrest Madonna on the spot. They should have just flew right to that spot and just locked her up right there. I mean, if it was the other way around, if it was a famous, say if Hillary Clinton won, and it was a famous Republican speaking at some rally where there was millions of people, and he came out or she came out and said, man, I hate Hillary, I want to blow up the White House, it would be over. The media would have slammed this person. It would have been all over the place. It would have been playing 24-7 on TV. It would have been on every website. It would have been in every newspaper. It would have been over. The media would have just taken that shit. This dude would have been like, <laughs> it would be over. But since Madonna said it, 
the media's like, ah, yeah, we're going to let that slide. Yeah, we're going to pretend we didn't see it. Bullshit. <laughs> you wonder why Trump hates the media so much, man. The double standards and hypocrisy in this country is just disgusting. Anyway, that's all I got. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like it, share it, all that good shit. And I'll see you on the next one.